What up guys, we're live in the morning, which I know is gonna be really weird for some of you guys. So I know, I know a lot of people are gonna be watching this not live. So we're gonna be covering a ton of topics super early. Um, so then I want to make sure this is muted. Uh, that, uh, or I'm gonna just, I'm gonna information dump on you first thing. So if you're not watching this live, stay tuned, hear what I got to say. And then we'll get into Copper Mountain making snow and stuff. Like I'm super excited. So first thing you can already see it, Check out this hat. This is a new hat. It's pretty sick. Um, it's just like the the just the snowboard logo. So if you didn't like the evolution aspect or anything like that, this is an option for a hat. It comes in two colors. I got I got two of them or three. It comes in three colors. It comes in three colors. I got two colors, the blue and the white, uh, the black and white, and then like a red. It's really good. Also, mom's not here, so it's me and the little dude. So if he gets crazy. I gotta handle the crazy. <clears throat> you look crazy, dude. And uh, there's already 31 people here, which is sick. Okay, so hat is a new update, just so you guys know, it finally came in the mail. I'm really excited to show that to you guys. But this is what I've been working on the last couple of days, really grinding hard on, is bringing you guys some new colors in the evolution stickers, as well as like replenishing a bunch of my other colors. So we're ready for this season. Roman is a chicken, right? So, uh, of course, we got the new camel one. So if you haven't got the camel evolution sticker, these are still available. I actually ordered more camel vinyl to make these like always available for you guys. We now have forest green. This is a very dark green. The other green we had was a neon green. So this is a forest green. So that's a new color. We have a baby, it's hard to see that, baby pink. Like this is like a super soft, like baby pink. There you go, that's the best way to see it. Um, we had a, we have a bright neon pink. But this is like a soft baby pink. It actually looks pretty fire. We got purple. Once again, kind of hard to see. This is not blue. This is a purple color. So if you like the color purple, um, that's an option. Dark cherry red. This was requested by Osvaldo, uh, the man, the myth, the legend, the guy with all of the the, the insane merch requests. Uh, he got he got his cherry red. But this one's for the skiers because like, we're I, I snowboard. Okay, that's what I do. You guys love the snowboard content, but there's a lot of skiers that watch our content and which is super sick and I'm super thankful for it. So to take care of our skiers, our fellow skiers, we have a ski logo, but we've only offered it in black and white for stickers. Well, today, all you skiers out there, you can get it in gold or silver. So you can get the ski sticker gold or silver. Um, and I think I'm gonna be releasing it in red. Red's not done yet. So as of today though, you could get um, gold or silver evolution ski stickers. If you're a skier, you didn't know we have that. This is the logo uh, for the skier. You can get gold and silver for the snowboard as well. So uh, Team Warren is a skier. So th that's what I've been working on hard in the background, just getting the, the stickers ready. Cause one, the thing is like, it takes a couple hours to make like one color, but when I make a color, I don't have, like, it'll last me a long time, so. Um, so the reason why I'm going live so early too is because we have another wedding this weekend. So like, was it last weekend or a week, like two weekends ago? My little sister got married. Now Bobby's uh, really good friend is getting married and Bobby's also in that wedding. And so um, uh, that's going down. So uh, today we're going down, we got like, rehearsal dinners and all this stuff. So I was like, what am I gonna do? I was like, ah, I'll just go live this morning. So we're gonna go live this morning. We're gonna be snowboarding down in Colorado Springs again um, with, uh, j and h snowboarding so that'll be really fun and it's gonna be a really good weekend just we got a lot going on i hope you guys like the powder video i dropped and the covid video if you haven't seen the covid video check it out i covered everything that is going to be going down with like the covid and, and whatnot and then um here's the big news this is one of the biggest so this if you're not watching this live this is the last thing you need to hear october 10th it's a saturday 2 to 7 p.m down in denver at Clancy's Irish Pub and Grill. It's where we did it last uh, year. Meat and wax. Me and the Mike, uh, me and the ski doctor are doing a meat and wax down at Clancy's Irish Pub and Grill, October tenth, two to seven p.m. If you want to come say what up to me? Get your stuff tuned and ready for the ski season. And there's a good chance a basin could be opening that weekend, so you could come get your stuff tuned up after riding or before riding. Um, and it's just been really sick to meet up with you guys. Last time, 35 of you showed up to get your stuff tuned, which is insane. And we've gotten a lot bigger. So it'd be really sick if a bunch of you guys did show up. So it's at a pub and grill. So you can come get a beer uh, and talk with me or you can come get your dinner there. 
or lunch, whatever, two to seven. I mean, you show up for lunch, a late lunch or early dinner um, or a late dinner, however you want to do it. But um, if you want to come say what up, one, so, uh, just to come say hi. Two, support Michael the Ski Doctor. Three, get your gear tuned up. Uh, October 10th, 2 to 7 p.m. down in Denver. It's a Saturday. Come say what up to your boys. Um, it's going to be a really good time. All right. Now I'm talking to you guys. Austin, dude, thanks for the $2. Notorious live stream $2. Uh, super chat, bro. You're the man, Austin. Can't believe it. Also, someone donated... Um, off grid and was like i want you to do a huge giveaway before the season starts so the thursday before a basin opens and season five starts we're gonna do like a live stream crazy giveaway does that make sense we're gonna give like hats hoodies like a bunch so it's gonna be a really good time all right i'm so far behind in the chat so i mean i i think in the, we, we all know who's here we got uh literally the crew everyone that shows up i'm so stoked that everyone shows up that Late in the day, is here for the morning. What up, Aaron? Um, so, Demonetized Channel said, Any tips for saving money on lift tickets? My friend and I want to go skiing during spring break at Keystone, uh, but from past years, three days is like close to $500. Yeah, so, Demonetized, I would say you could buy a four-day, uh, you can buy a four-pack right now through Epic. It's like 400 bucks for like four days, whatever. That's going to save you the most amount of money. Um, it is going to cost money. Um, but the uh to ski it's if you're buying day passes it's gonna be the most expensive you can go to a place that's not keystone that could be another option go to a smaller ski resort will save you some money or buy a season pass and make multiple trips it's really hard like ski resorts charge a lot for showing up just for the day um as for saving money you could use some if you, someone does have an epic pass they have like buddy passes but those are only like 30 percent off so you're still paying a lot of money uh rick says uh Will it be a good year to get some nice uh, bush at Breck? I love those hot... Oh. <laughs> I don't know, man. You tell me. Uh, Carson says, I was going to order, but I never got to. Oh, dude, Carson, you got to order those stickers, bro. And then Rick says... No. Alex says, might have to grab the purple for uh, uh, Christi Christina? Christina? Dude, Alex, do it. Daddy, grandma here, Daddy. Grandma is in the chat. <laughs> he knows grandma's here. Uh, Weekend Warriors, what's up, guys? Uh, skiers is where is all. Oh, Weekend Warriors, I didn't know you guys were skiers. That's awesome. Uh, Taylor's here. She says, if there is one way to stay awake after my alarm, not to go back to sleep for another 30 minutes. Watching the live stream is the new stickers. Let's go, or watching the live, it is. And the new stickers look so cool. Uh, Taylor, good morning. Uh, to everybody, good morning. This is an early live stream. We have 53 people on it too, which is in insane. Uh, thanks for jumping on early. Like I said, my weekend's just gonna be crazy. And then after this weekend, I gotta drive my mom's stuff to her in Wisconsin. My mom just moved to Wisconsin and I um, am the, I have the most flexible schedule out of anyone in my family. So I uh, was said I would drive a U-Haul from Colorado all the way to Wisconsin full of my mom's stuff, her house, essentially moving my mom's house for her. And so that is going to be on the 11th, which is kind of maybe when A-Basin's opening. We got to be very, like, figure it out. We might even, like, we were going to make it, like, a, a little bit of, like, a longer trip in Wisconsin, but we might not even bring Bo uh, Bobby and Roman this time and leave them uh behind and so i can just drive it out there and then fly back and get right back to a basin so uh no matter what we won't miss a basin opening day um and then we'll go from there d Wizzle says love this early live stream since i'm still awake yeah everyone uh across the world what's up uh i'm happy to go live at a good hour for you guys um dayton rock says i want a hamburger that's not bad wait who i haven't done it yet but I know they're there. Who has had the spicy chicken nuggets from McDonald's? Oh, he fell in the water. Oh, poor chicken. He's okay, though. Here, just pet him. chicken. You want a new chicken? No, this chicken just needs to, to, to chill and dry off. <laughs> uh, uh, Carson's dropping that dono hype. Uh, Jono's here. What up, dude? 
the pow uh, the power the powder video was sick. So if you guys enjoyed the heli snowboarding video, it's just like raw, uncut, what it sounds like to be out there, and it's so cool. It's so quiet. Those turns, I don't know if you like other than the wind noise, like those turns, um going down that is just quiet. It's so cool. Derek, even though you just waxed your board the other day, you can still come up or come say what's up um, at the meet and wax. It'd be really awesome to just say what up and dab you guys up and having a spot and a date and a time to where you guys can come say hello uh, is really cool. I, I love meeting you guys. That's one of the best parts and putting a face to the names and, and everything. So if you can't make it to the meet and wax, please do. Uh, when is the doctor coming to Aust uh, Austria? Dude, Jono, it's going to happen, man. He said we're going to our goal this season is to kind of help set him up to where he has hits the ski dock. He owns it. He's still doing it. But at the same time, he can take trips and, and go off and continue help filming and just being awesome. Uh, we love the ski dock. He is the man. The man. The ski dock is the man. Oh, I am so far behind in this chat. The uh, Austin, dude, I know if you could go, you would. Ark, what up, dude? Hope you're healing great. What's up, dude? Yeah. Um, yeah, we're doing an early live stream, which is sick. Gavin says, supposed to be in class, but watching the stream instead. Oh, man, Gavin, don't get in trouble, dude. <laughs> um, when is a basin opening? Landon, if I had to guess, it's in about two weeks. They'll be able to open. Um, I can't even see what the weather's doing out there. Oh, it's super smoky right now. But um, it's definitely cold enough every single night that they can blow snow, so... Get in ready. Get Roman a cupcake. Uh, I'm cupcake? an older man today. Want a cupcake, Daddy? <laughs> yeah, Aaron did, gave me his five dollars to get you a cupcake. Can you say thank you for the cupcake? Mm -mm. Oh, you can't. So rude, Aaron, dude. Thank you so much for the five dollar donation, guys. If you do want to donate, uh, you can drop a super chat like Aaron did, and we're super thankful for super, for super chats. But just know that uh, YouTube takes 30% of those donations. So if you want to drop a donation, uh, I have it on my pinned, the little blue bar. It says, uh, yeah. please donate to my Venmo or my Streamlabs. Either one of those, we get 100% of the donation. I want a new bird. You want a what? A new bird? Mm -hmm. We get 100% of those donations, which is um, way better than 70 Whoa, dude, chill. Did you guys see that bird fly across the, the, the screen? <laughs> Little kids, dude. Christine says, <coughs> I really hope we get dumped on so copper opens before November 30th, right? So I'm blown away. I don't know if they were just testing their system or they're teaching people how to make snow. Copper was blowing snow the other day. Like, I've never seen copper blow snow this early. So it's either two things. Copper is like, attacking this season being like all right let's go hard or they're teaching people i don't know but they were blowing snow they put on their instagram it was really cool to see and once again i've never seen copper blow snow this early so this could be a good thing if they are blowing snow this early that means they might be trying to open up more terrain when they open as well which is always a good thing opening day with more with not just white ribbons of death like that's sick yeah that's sick dude jonathan what up dude What's up, dude? Uh, Shred Goon TV said, Copper Mountain is the best resort in Colorado. Changed my mind. All right, Shred. Um, they definitely have one of the sickest mentalities as a company for skiing and snowboarding. All these other places feel like they are ran by people who graduated college that can ski and snowboard. It's like all the Vail Mountains feel like they're ran by people that can ski and snowboard, but they just got a degree and that's the job they got. And now they run it like a business like, or like a corporation where copper still feels like it's people that love skiing and snowboarding that also got those degrees that run the mountain. That's why they do so much cool stuff like Red Gerard's Backyard Park. You can go snowboard copper for free. What? That's insane. Like that's literally the coolest thing in the world. The thing, the only thing I don't like about copper, because yes, they build an insane train park and it's super fun and everything like that. The only thing about copper that I think I could change your mind with and why it's not the sickest is the front of the mountain is so lame and slow and mellow. And on a powder day, they never get the back open. So you show up 
and you want to rip pow on a pow day at copper and they never get the proper terrain open so you can never have a sick powder day there and two or three days later they finally get the back open and then you can finally rip some good snow like i've never shown up to copper on an insane powder day when you should be able to rip the sickest terrain which is all in the back and it'd be open it, they never get it open um so they literally have like the worst avalanche team or what, however you want to whatever you want to call it how you want to say it um so i really like and bombed at Copper's Mountain because you never get to have the sickest time. I don't know if that changed your mind, but that's my opinion on it. So if I want to show up somewhere on a powder day, I'm going to go like Breck. They're going to get all the bowls open. You're going to be able to rip the sick, steep terrain. The powder's going to get rid pretty quick. But, I mean, like, if, if Vale can get all of Vale open on a powder day, where you at, Breck or Copper? What's going on? Ooh, Austin has a question. He says, I have a question. What does YouTube count as a view? Like, uh, do you have, or uh, do you just have to click uh, onto it, or how long do you have to watch before it counts? I think it's 10 seconds. That's a good question, Austin. I could look into it, but I'm pretty sure it was 10 seconds of a video watched counted as a view. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen now, if, if you're on a computer and you hover over a video. You're hungry? The food, The food's on the couch. You want me to go get it for you? Did you bring the food to the bed? Or you want me to go get it? Mm -hmm. All right, I'll, I'll go get this food real quick. Here you go, dude. Sorry about that, guys. Mom's not here, so Dad has to... He's almost old enough to where, like, he could have got that himself, but he's, like, still... He turns three in a couple days. In 20 days, this little dude will be three years old. How crazy is that? Um, but, yeah, 10 seconds for a YouTube view. Hey, if, on a computer, if you hover over it, it plays a little bit. I don't think that counts it as a view, but um, thanks for all the views on YouTube, by the way, guys. Uh, Derek says, 409 for Keystone plus pass and you get reservation priority there you go derek dropping the knowledge about the keystone thing monarch or a bay dude i love a basin but the cool thing is if you buy an a basin season pass or a monarch season pass you get to go to each of them for five days which is cool i'm at home calling with my friend watching the live stream that's sick d wizzle let's go is a is a basin epic it, no, it's not Epic. A Basin standalone. It used to be on Epic. It's on Icon, uh, uh, Austin. If you have an Icon pass, you can go to A Basin for like five days or seven, depending on if you have the highest or the medium one or whatever. What's the best year for instructor training? What's the best year? Timor, I'm, I'm a little confused on the question. Are you saying like what's the best time of the year for instructor training? Um... Or are you trying to be trained by an instructor? I'm a little confused. Um, I just know that if, if you're an instructor, or you're saying like to, to cert, I don't know, I'm, I'm a little confused. I would just say uh, for instructor training, I would say if you want to get really sick at becoming a snowboarder, there's a strategy you can do. You can work at a ski resort and become an instructor. You're not going to make much money when you first start off, whatever. But then you can start taking certs and Breck or Keystone or any Vail resorts, I know that they will, they'll pay for your certifications. So you can go do all these cert classes and then there's all these like insane instructor guys that are teaching you how to be a better snowboarder and they'll help you become better at snowboarding um, for free. And you get all these free lessons and stuff. So if you like are good enough to teach someone but you're not that sick at snowboarding, maybe be an instructor and you can use that to get free lessons to get sick at snowboarding. Um, Alex says... A uh, uh, four-day Keystone pack is only two fifty. See, that's not bad. That's what I was thinking that they had, but you gotta buy it now because that will disappear soon. Snowball in Arizona has a good park. Isn't Snowball in Arizona the only uh, resort in Arizona? Can does anyone have that answer? Um, I want to know how many states have a single ski resort because I might just take all those ones out. Uh, Aaron says, I feel bad for the Falcons. They are going to get smashed on Monday. Go Pack Go. 
dude, I think we're gonna smash the Falcons. But thankfully, I think we're gonna do the Falcons a favor because we're not gonna let the Falcons get a 20 point lead and then lose it. <laughs> we're just gonna, we'll get the 20 point lead on the Falcons and just keep it. And then the Falcons won't get, uh, the Falcons head coach won't get uh, beat up for dropping another 20 point lead. <laughs> Uh, T. Morin says, what's the best gear for instructor training? Morin. So I, I, once again, I'm a little confused. What What is instructor training? Are you training instructors? Are you getting trained by an instructor? Um, I'm a little confused, T. Morin. Um, so if you can answer that, let me know. And then did I get to? Yeah, I did. Uh. Dayton says, do you know why you have to pick up your season pass at a basin? Just seems kind of stupid. It's because a basin's super small. That's why uh, you got to pick them up. So they don't have, they probably don't have the infrastructure or the employee or whatever to, to send out thousands of season passes that they sold. Um, where it's like, yo, just when you get here, show up and just we'll print you out your season pass and then we're good to go. Um, saves them money, saves them time. And they're just... Like a, the way A Basin operates is nothing close to the way like Keystone operates. But the thing about A Basin is because they're so small and they operate. Daddy, April. April. You okay? Yes. Daddy, April. April. Um, because they're so small and the way they operate, they're allowed to do cool things like open up super early or open up super late. Um, so it's like a give and take. Like I. I don't care that I got to go pick up my pass from A Basin because A Basin can reopen after COVID. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you have to remember you have Italian viewers. I know, right? We have I have viewers all over the world. It is insane. I have shipped I have shipped Evolution stickers, which if you guys haven't uh, weren't here in the beginning, we have a bunch of new colors: forest green, baby pink, purple. Ski, silver, and gold, dark cherry red. Those are all available. But I have shipped stickers to Iraq. I have shipped stickers to Russia. I've shipped stickers to Japan. I've shipped stickers to China. I've shipped stickers literally all over the world. I mean, there's there's definitely places I haven't shipped them to. But for the most part, I've shipped stickers. Everywhere. Oh, and st all stickers ship free. So for all the Italian or all the European or people that don't live in the United States, these stickers will ship to you for free. You don't have to pay any crazy shipping. You just buy the sticker and I ship it for you to you for free. And in the US. Free shipping on Evolution stickers. Does A Basin have a park? Oven Raz, they do have a park. So they used to build a sick park and then they got rid of their sick park. And then recently they've been building a better park. It's still not up to par to what it used to be, but it's getting better. Like A Basin used to put in a jump line, like a two to three jump line. It was sick. But then they, they were like, why are we trying to compete with like Keystone and Breck who are building these super insane parks? Oh. Uh, Austin says, early live. I've been at work for five hours already. Dang, Austin. Early morning, dude. I hope you're doing good. Get some coffee, bro. William says, uh, strange not being at work during a normal uh, evening stream. Sorry, William. Yeah, we changing up the times today. Uh, Dr. Slugger says, those turns were so smooth, hyped. Yeah, guys, if you missed yesterday's video and you want to see some heli snowboarding, which I want, I'm going to do it again this year. I don't know when. Um, I kind of don't care how much it's going to cost. Like, I want to make it happen again because it was sick. I'm kind of thinking in Utah, um, heli snowboarding. And maybe an Alaska? What? Alaska snowboarding trip? That'd be sick. And then we, if we go to Alaska, we have to do at least one day of heli. How much does it cost to go to Silverton? Uh, uh, lid lift. I'd have to look on the website because I don't know the exact prices, but it's not cheap. Um, if you do the hiking and not the heli boarding, it's a lot cheaper, but it's not cheap. And you got to book pretty far in advance. And like, um, so start looking into it. Like, go to their website and start start planning your heli trip. Jono says, "So amazing! One day bucket list helicopter snowboarding, dude. That was my on my bucket list for sure. I'm happy that it's been." been done and now like i look at things different i'm just like dude i want to do more gnarly scary terrain um but jono dude you have to do it man do they have uh heli snowboarding in austria uh daily mountain bike what up he says yo i'm so hyped for the first resort in america 
on Sunday, Trollhagen in Minnesota opens for a rail jam and food drive. I daily mountain biker. Do they open up for just a rail jam? Is my question. Or are they op after that rail jam or do they continue to be open? Um, because that's, if they only open up for a rail jam and then they close back down, then they can't be considered first resort to open in America for the season because that doesn't count. Does that make sense? Cause you opened for a rail jam. Like down in Denver, they would always do these like snowboard events and then they would chop up a bunch of ice and do a rail jam. But like that didn't count as the season starting. That was just a rail jam. So uh, let me know Daily Mountain Bike. Are they gonna stay open after that? Um, or do they close? Uh, pension for Jonathan to come snowboarding in Europe. Dude, that's gonna happen. Snowboarding the world will happen. It's just not gonna happen this season, which is fine. Like I don't think, I'm not ready to go to Europe and make vlogs and everything yet. As weird as that sounds, like of course I can go and do it. But I feel like I want to do more in the United States this season and like handle more of the United States before we are spending that type of money and that time and going around the world. Like I don't, I just, it's a weird feeling. And a lot of people are like, dude, this channel should have like hundreds of thousands of subscribers. This channel's sick. And it's like, dude, that'd be sick. I would love that. But at the same time, like, I don't know if my infrastructure, what I'm doing would be ready enough for that many subscribers. Like I literally just, and I don't know if you guys can tell, the lighting looks sick. I just got my first soft light. Like we're, we're slowly grinding. So at the same time, like there is a, there is a benefit to slowly growing if that makes sense. So uh, there's nothing wrong with a slow climb. Uh, Data says, when is the meat and wax again? And where is it? So the meat and wax, good, good plug, dude. October 10th is a Saturday at Clancy's Irish Pub and Grill in Denver, uh, 2 to 7 p.m. Me and the ski doc will be down there tuning up some gear, saying what up to you guys, dabbing you up. If you don't need your stuff tuned, still come and say what's up. Uh, I will be selling. Up. What's, up? what's up, man? Come say what's up, man. No. Okay. Uh, well, we'll have evolution stickers there too for sale in person at a discounted rate uh, and things like that. It's going to be a really fun event. Last time we did a raffle, I don't think we're going to do a raffle again because it was hard because we, we did a raffle, but then people left. Um, maybe I'll just have some stuff to give away for free too. I don't know. It could be a really cool time. Derek says, uh, yeah, ne uh, never met you before. Maybe. Uh, you've seen me and my squad out there. We always wear black cloaks with the red clouds. Derek, I haven't. I, I, I to be honest, when I think I want to, I don't think I have. But that sounds sick, dude. Uh, and when are you coming to Austria, Jonathan? Jono, the sick thing about going to Austria is you're there and you're down to help and uh, to tour us around. So that's gonna be sick. So probably next one, season six. Travel the world. <laughs> What's our slogan for season five? What's it gonna be? Season five, path to the 1080. Uh, da -da -da Carson says, um, I wish I was, or I wish I was in class waiting while in class for it to start. Dude, sorry all the, for everyone that's got school today, man. I feel bad for you guys. Uh, also, I love your videos. I appreciate it, dude. Woodward at Copper is fire, Carson. Uh, Derek said, they announced that they started blowing early because they are trying to have more terrain to help with the COVID distancing. Yeah, Derek. So that's what Copper blowing so early. I feel like a lot of these places, and that's why like Keystone moved their opening day back and Breck did too. And like, they're trying to open up with like, as many lifts as possible and as much as terrain as possible. Kristen says, regarding copper, uh, they were blowing snow overnight uh, when I looked at their live stream last night. Let's go. How sick is that, guys? The season's like here. I, this is a real smile. I'm, I'm so excited uh, to be, to to not have to, to work to snow, like, to just show up and like just be normal. I'm so excited. I'm... Uh, half paying attention to the teacher and to you. Let's go, our star. <laughs> Gavin says, oh, Copper's website, it says that they're opening late, later so they can have all their terrain open. When does, uh, when the doors open, I'm headed out there for the first week of December. So stoked. It's one downside to COVID is 
Everything's open later. But maybe not A Basin, because A Basin's a beast. Uh, Odog44, what up? And then Anolan says, how does joining the Patreon work? I'm a younger, I'm younger, but I want to support the dream the best I can. Your videos are sick. Yeah, dude, so you just go to the Patreon link. It's down below. Uh, you join, pick your tier that you want to be in, and each tier has a bunch of perks. So you join that that tier, and then um, you got to have like a debit or a credit card. You said you're younger, so you might have to use your parents' card. But that's how you can support the dream, and then it just auto every month just uh, takes that donation out. And you support the dream, and that's how my Patreon supporters and all my members are how I've been able to do this all summer, how I do this for a living. Like, th that's a consistent income. Like, I know that X amount of money is coming from my Patreon every month, so that I know that I can pay for my rent. And then, like, same thing with the, the, the members. And if you know what the members are, that's the little evolution monkey next to some people's name, or, like, uh, the bigger dude or the skier, which a bunch of those skiers are turning into snowboarders. They should have turned to snowboarders. Possibly. Might be next month they all turn to snowboarders. But when the season starts, we're going to have a bunch of... It's going to have this logo next to their name. And that's through the members. So if you wanted to become a member, that's a little join next to my name. And that's all through YouTube. Uh, bro Gnarly, what up, dude? He says, what's up, guys? Uh, what up, Buckhouse? I made it. Live stream at, a fish, er, at the office. Let's go. Who's all at work right now? It's so sick. Everyone's being able to sneak in some time with the live stream. Our boy Greg is here. What up, dude? I know you're working too. Uh, Grant uh, says, what up? Tell, uh, tilling a kitchen since the boss ain't here. I'm watching. Dude, <laughs> some of you guys are watching during work. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. Uh, I'm here in Atlanta. We don't talk about the Falcons anymore. <laughs> I do feel bad for all the Falcon fans out there. Dude, this live stream's popping off. You guys are killing it. Uh, G Play says, me and my brother have three trips to Winter Park planned already. Can't wait. Never been there yet. Dude, Winter Park is so sick. You're going to have so much fun at Winter Park. And Winter Park has not announced, I'm pretty sure, that they're doing reservations yet. So that's really cool. Tudakus, what up? He said, 10 to 3 in the morning and still uh, made it. What up, everyone? Dude, let's go. Three in the morning. That's crazy. Uh, Micah says, did the Keystone Safety ever see your video when they stopped uh, you and talked crap? <laughs> I, they, they, <laughs> everyone at Keystone <laughs> has seen it. So Daniel told me a really funny story. So if you guys don't remember Daniel, in season three, Daniel helped me film all season. He's the man. He lives on the other side of this wall. Um, he's my boy. We haven't seen him. He didn't really write. He didn't write at all. Season four. He just had different life priorities. Anyways, he works at he works at Target, and they hired a new guy at Target. Uh, and they also, so I still have a good rapport at Target. So like when I meet a lot of you guys, and you guys like want to move up here, I recommend you guys go work at Target. So then people do apply at Target, and they say that they know me. And so some of the managers at Target go, will say like, so so Daniel was in the break room. And this kid got interviewed, and he said he knew me. So when, when the manager that interviewed the kid walked out to another manager who was standing next to a new employee and was like, hey, Jonathan Buckhouse, or this kid knows Jonathan Buckhouse. Jonathan really only sends us awesome people. I think he's going to be a good hire. And then the guy, the, the new hire that was standing next to the other manager was like, oh, Jonathan Buckhouse? That dude made Keystone look so bad and blah, blah. And like, like it was hating on me of the keystone video and was like he lied and all this stuff and i was just <laughs> so and daniel was in the room like oh, this is awkward because like daniel is a big reason why i'm here today um and the, the manager was like well then don't talk to daniel because daniel's like literally boys with jonathan <laughs> it, it was just a really funny story to hear um i hope it hope that came through pretty clean it's hard to be like this person like you know i'm making up people but it's super funny now I want to go to Target and dab that dude up too. Like, what up, dude? <laughs> Keystone. <laughs> uh, are you ever going to come out to Vermont? Uh, Swayer. I, I went to Vermont last winter. If you haven't seen that video, just type like Big Snow or Mount Snow, Jonathan Buckhouse. You'll see the, me ripping there. I rode three days, four days in Mount Snow. It was so sick. I had a powder day at Mount Snow. Uh, Carson says, I might go outside to skate. Uh, Dude, that's sick. Skating's super fun. 
The Discount Snowboarder. I like that name. What up, Jonathan? Uh, just picked up some Evolution stickers to support the dream coming to Colorado in December. Dude, thank you for snagging the stickers. Guys, if you buy a hat, here, I'm gonna do this real quick. If you wanna see the new stickers, here's the sticker link right there. And if you wanna get this hat or look at the hat or do whatever you want, here's the, uh, the hat link is the second one. But um, when you guys snag any of the merch, it does support the dream. It's how I get to, I say that all the time. It's true. It's like how I get to do this is people snagging uh, stickers and mainly, mainly stickers. You guys snagging the stickers is so insane and supports so much. And it's just cool because you guys get something back in return and you get to rep it and like, it's cool because you show up to the mountain and you're rocking the logo and you might be snowboarding by yourself and the same thing with somebody else and then they see the logo and they're like, oh, yo, Team Huckhouse, what's up? And then it's like, yo, and then you guys ride together and it's sick because um, this is a community and I feel like we have the strongest snowboard community on on the internet and I don't know, it's just so sick. And it's cool because we get together, you guys think about this, we get together and talk every single day. How many of you guys talk to a friend of yours, like a good friend of yours, every single day? But Every single day, for most of you, you're jumping in the live streams talking to R Star. So most of you guys talk to R Star more than you talk to the your best friend. Does that make sense? Am I making sense right now? You might talk to R Star more than you talk to your mom. <laughs> uh, PH14 says, "Hey, what's up, Buckhouse? Heading back uh, to work with Vale soon, which means season starts soon." Can't wait to see you this year. Dude, I'll see you out in Vail, man. I can't wait. Yeah. Uh, Table says, when do you think a basin will open? I'm thinking the weekend of October 10th. Yeah. But once it, we still have to wait for what the governor says. So that's the one thing. Like All these resorts are starting to blow snow. They're getting ready for the season. Um, but the governor still has to say like resorts can open. Does that make sense? I don't know if he, I think that's supposed to happen like, like really soon or it just happened. Um, bum, 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 bum. They do in Switzerland. All right, Jono, heli snowboarding when we get out there, bro. Get ready. Yeah. The correct answer is... It looks like a ring light or giving that, the, that much light off, but you can see in this thing right here, it's a big square. And I'll probably adjust it so it doesn't have that glare and that cool picture frame Bobby made me like years and years ago. I might move it like a little bit this way, but I'm just, I'm just stoked that I can get a consistent light. Um, I think it looks good. You guys can tell me. I feel like you can see like my blemish is better. Uh, LZ says, uh, so you make money with those stickers or how does it work? Yeah, so I make... I make the stickers myself, so I literally, every sticker you get, handmade by me. Um, I have this crazy cool sticker machine, and then I weed them, and then I put the thing on. Anyways, it's really cool. And so, like, I make some money from YouTube, not a lot. Like, where the finances for this channel come from are all the donations you guys drop on these live streams, um, and then snagging stickers, snagging merch, um, those are my main, and then my Patreon and, and the members, those are my main um, sources of income. And then sometimes I'll do brand deals. Um, I, I, I barely ever work with companies despite having all these like fake GoPros right here and stuff. I haven't reviewed those yet. Like I don't review much product. Does that make sense? Sometimes I do. Um, but if the product's not right, I'm not gonna review it if that makes sense. Uh, Jono says, bro, it's so mad the money you have to pay helicopter flights. Yeah, it's it's pretty expensive to go heli riding. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm trying to find good, good topics. What are we at, too? Okay, we're doing good on this live stream. Oh, Chudika says, can we get a sneak peek about the board coming soon? Oh, uh, I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. It's a boat. That's like the best example I could give you. It's like a boat. Uh, Sawyer says, do you consider this a job or more like 
a blessing that you snowboard for a living. So Sawyer, this is 1000% a job and anybody like uh, Aaron, Greg, um, Austin, anyone that's seen me do this, I mean Benton, anyone that's literally seen me do this in person can tell you it's, it's a job. And now, yes, I get to snowboard every single day. That's the fun, epic, like that's why I love doing it. But when I'm not snowboarding, I'm weeding thousands of stickers. I'm replying to emails and, and comments and I'm editing. An edit takes about four hours, like a vlog takes about four hours a day. And then when you're out on the mountain, yeah, it's super fun and super all this stuff. But at the same time, there is a little bit of like, I gotta tell a story, I gotta do all this stuff. Um, it is work, it's, it, it's, but it's work that I absolutely love so it doesn't feel like work. So when I'm weeding stickers or I'm replying to comments or I'm trying to set up sponsors and I'm emailing people or I'm up at four in the morning editing a video, that doesn't feel like work because like I love editing. I love snowboarding. I love everything I'm doing. So when you can get a job that you absolutely love and it doesn't feel like work, that's when you're winning and I am blessed. Uh, it is a blessing that I'm in this position. The fact that you guys resonate with me and you enjoy my content because I could be making snowboard content, but you guys could not like it. But thankfully, you guys do like it. So it is a blessing, but it is work. Um, and then trying to balance this, which never stops. There's literally, there's never a second or a day that I could not be doing something. There's always something. There's always a comment to reply to or a message. There's always an email to reply to or a company. There's always something that I could edit or post on Instagram. There's always something. And to balance not doing all of like doing like to to balance not working twenty four seven, and hanging out with the wife and the kid and everything like that. That's also not work, but that's hard in itself. Does that make sense? To to know when to turn off this and do just family. So um, that's a great question, and um, I would I would encourage you guys to chase what you love and I'll. I'll I'm a, I know I'm not reading any comments, but I want to I get into this real quick because this is something I thought about recently. Okay. So I loved snowboarding and I wanted to do something with snowboarding, but I had no idea what it was. But when I moved up here when I was 19, I was like, I'm going to be a professional snowboarder. That was like my goal, my mission. That's what I wanted to do. But I moved up and realized I wasn't going to be good enough to be a professional snowboarder. You might absolutely love basketball, but you're my height, five, six, whatever. You're never going to be a professional basketball player. But what I did and what I encourage you to do with something that you absolutely love is I never stopped snowboarding even though I knew I couldn't be a professional snowboarder. I still went every single day and tried to get as good as I could at snowboarding because one, I loved it, but two, I felt like if I just kept grinding at snowboarding and kept getting better and, and just showing up, eventually something would present itself that allowed me to do it every single day, whether that was working in a ski shop or I didn't know what it was. I was like, there will be something in this industry that I will find uh, that will allow me to do it every single day. But I just have to, the one thing I have to do is just show up and keep getting better at what snowboarding it is. Whether that's the knowledge of snowboarding, um, the act of snowboarding. You need help? Okay, I'll be there in just a second, okay? One second. All right, let me help him real quick. And then I'll get back to this. What do you need help with? This? Oh, you need mix. Mix, mix, mix. Mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. Would you like it? Mm -hmm. There you go, buddy. Thank you. You're welcome. So I encourage you, so whether it's basketball or art or whatever, and you're like, man, I'll never be there. Like, don't, don't believe that. So like, for me, it took 10 years almost, or it was seven years of me living up here and snowboarding over 100 days a season to then get myself to the opportunity to where I could start a YouTube channel, but I was good enough at snowboarding that I'm not the greatest, but I was good enough that, I, that you, you guys thought I was entertaining to watch and that I had enough knowledge to share with you. So by grinding out snowboarding and putting in that work, I, and for, like, for nothing, just like I was just continued and made it a priority that every day I was gonna put some time on my snowboard. Um, I got better and I got more knowledgeable, so now, my brother presented the opportunity. He was like, you should start a YouTube channel. I feel like if you did, you could do it or, or like people would watch. 
because I was good enough and I knew enough that if I started a channel, you guys could benefit from it. So once again, for you, whether that's basketball, underwater basket weaving, writing books, put in the work every single day, even though you're not getting any results in a way, or like it's not presenting itself as a, a job or something you can do. If you put in that work and you get better, you get, get better, all of a sudden, maybe you can start a YouTube channel for basketball about how to dribble better. I mean, obviously, the, I'm just using that as a, an example. But you could do something like I did, and I was able to take YouTube and what I created or what I put the work in with snowboarding to then create a job where I now snowboard for a living. I made myself a professional snowboarder. I always wanted to be one. The industry told me I couldn't be one because I wasn't good enough. But I wasn't gonna listen to what they said, and I made it. I made it happen myself, and you can too. Uh, just put in the work and, and keep your eyes open. Like there's always something out there, and so you can always make the thing you love your job. You just gotta put in the work. And whether that's like, with the whole basketball example too. What if you're the guy that tapes LeBron James's ankle every single day? Like that can't be a bad job either. So um, just put in that work, and you'll 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 be there. All, like, also, my tattoo says, do not be shaped by this world. In a lot of ways, that interprets in a, in a couple ways. But a big thing for me, too, is like the reason why that resonates with me so well is like the world says, this is how you do it. This is the shape you need to be to be a professional snowboarder. But I'm, I don't want to be shaped by the world. I want to do my own thing in a lot of ways. So instead of being shaped, a square shape to be a professional snowboarder, I came down here on YouTube and became a circle. And now look what I'm doing. So I know I kind of just went off right there. Um, and I hope that resonated with one person. Um, and that's why I went on that rant. I know a lot of people aren't trying to do what I do because it's a lot of work and everything like that. But for all those kids out there, what's up, bud? Monster. Monster. Hide, hide, hide from the monster. Um, yeah. Whew. Uh, Alex says, uh, do you just say underwater basket weaving? Yeah, I did say underwater basket weaving. It's a hidden skill of mine. Uh, Sawyer says, do you think for a starter job, a snowboard instructor would be good? It depends on what you want. So if you love teaching people how to snowboard, being an instructor is a cool, fun job. And like I said, being an instructor, you can get a bunch of free lessons to improve your riding. I personally didn't like the working for a ski resort aspect because you work when the resort is open so you never get to snowboard for yourself and i'm a huge advocate of snowboarding for myself when i hit the mountain i want to be able to go ride pow if it's a sick pow day i want to be able to go into the park if it's a sick par park day the last thing i want to do for my ability is stand on a bunny hill and teach someone how to make turns i don't mind making a video for you guys and teaching you guys um, and taking moments on my days to make those types of videos but personally physically I want to go rip, I want to hit jumps, I want to slide rails, like I want to go do my stuff when I ride. And if you work for the resort and if you're instructing, you're not hitting jumps every single day, you're not sliding rails every single day. The majority of your day is on a bunny hill. So like, what do you want? I encourage anybody that wants to move to Summit County and snowboard every single day to get a job at the Target or the Lowe's, any of the retailers up here, work two to 10, like that, that's a, a shift exists, 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. It's an eight hour shift. Sometimes it's like 10.30, whatever. And you get to snowboard from eight to one every single day. It's what I did for years. That's how I got better at snowboarding. I worked two to 10, showed up every single morning at open, got to rip and then got better at snowboarding. And then just went and worked inside a nice warm building, which was like super toasty. Like the work you do at Target is so mellow. Um, so that's what I encourage you guys to do. Uh, Austin says, or you can do, uh, he said, or can do like I do and work like crazy all summer to make good money at a job where you can get the winter off and then you can shred all winter. Exactly, Austin. There's always something that you can do. And Austin's example is great. I used, I used to do that route too, where I'd look, work crazy overtime and work really hard in the summer. And then in the winter, I'd work a lot less and take my vacations in the winter and get to ride more in the winter. Um, I mean, my older brother is a firefighter. It's really cool because he does like two days on, 
two days off, two days on, two days off, two days on, four days off, something like that. He gets full days off. Like there's a lot of sick schedules out there or like opportunities and jobs that allow you to snowboard every single day. Like I was truly content working at Target, working two to 10 and snowboarding every single day. Cause I still got to do it. I once again, wasn't a professional snowboarder, but the job I worked allowed me to snowboard at every single day to get to the, a high level of snowboarding. There's always options out there for you guys. So don't let something like take away your dream essentially, because you can always have it. Introverted Noob says, hey, props to whoever can do underwater basket weaving. It's hard. Dude, I got to try it. I think it's possible. Taylor says, also keep in mind, a lot of resorts pay their instructors per lesson, not per hour. Taylor's 100% true with that. So I had a lot of friends that were instructors and the first year is the Daddy, hardest year as an instructor because you're Daddy. they go off priority. So people that come back um, from the last season, people have certs and get lessons first. So the guy with the certs and that's been teaching there for 10 years is going to get a lesson every single day. On a slow day, they might only get five lessons for the day and they have seven instructors. Well, that means two instructors don't get to work. But the thing is, you showed up for work, you got dressed for work, you're ready to get a lesson, there's no lesson for you, you gotta go home and you didn't get paid. It's one thing with instructor, like being an instructor that I've always thought was like, the. But then, so this is the thing, so you don't get paid, but they also expect you to show up in the middle of the day for midday lessons to see if you get a midday lesson. If, so you can't, you can't go anywhere, you have to hang out still, but they're not paying you. Oh, it's a, it's a mess. Nah. Sorry says, I like seeing people progress, but I don't know if I want to sit on a bunny hill all day. Exactly, Sawyer. I felt the same way. And that's why like, I love seeing people progress. And like, dude, Greg in the snow dome went from like not hitting any features to like dude was doing a line by the t end of the, of the trip. And it was so sick to see. What's up? You're crazy, dude. But in a lot of ways, I'm selfish and I wanted to get better at snowboarding. And so that's what I wanted to do. Um, Austin says, I'm hiring if anyone lives in Utah. Let's get Austin some, uh, some employees. Who lives in Utah and wants a sick job? Spicy Plays says, any tips for learning to... to uh, hey, Drew W. just subscribed. What up, Drew? Uh, Spicy said... The sun is getting sleepy? I don't think the sun's sleepy. I think the, the sm there's a fire. Fire? Yeah, there's a fire and it's really smoky out there. <laughs> we need to call Uncle Tyler. Uncle Tyler? Remember, he's no, a... Truck. Yeah, he has, well, my, Uncle Tyler has the fire trucks. Huh. Remember, we go see him? Uh -huh. um, Spicy says, any tips for learning to Daddy, do park? Oh, what? You're crazy, dude. I have plenty of tips for doing park. First off, every trick is different and has tips and things. So I have covered Daddy, a lot of basic Daddy, tricks on my how Daddy, to snowboard playlist. So check that out. Daddy, look. Stop throwing pillows on the floor, crazy dude. So I have a how to snowboard playlist. And in that playlist, I cover Daddy, all the... Uh, Daddy, look. You're not getting any attention right now? No. <laughs> you want to come say hi to your friends? Mm -mm. Okay. Grandma says hi. So check out my How to Snowboard playlist. I cover a lot of basic tricks there. But just know at the park, you got to learn the basics. Like don't go for a board slide if you can't 50-50. Don't board slide. Like like literally learn, go like incremental step. Like go from the basics. But also know that you're probably a better snowboarder than you think you are. And a lot of people don't think they're that good. But truly they're a lot stronger at riding than they think they are. Uh, K2 says, I'm a skier. Uh, what should I do? You should, if you're a skier, you should go on the sticker store and buy a silver or gold evolution sticker because they're fire. RX Fly Fishing, what up? And then C. Miller says, bro, your house sounds like my house. Gotta love it. Dude, C. Miller, dude, I'm just a dude with a two-year-old. I, I, that's the, like, this is the thing that I love and a lot of you guys enjoy it with the live streams. Like, because I... I I'm, a, I'm just a guy and I try to snowboard as much as possible, but that doesn't mean if I'm going to go live and hang out and talk with you guys, that my son's not going to be here. You know what I'm saying? Like it's going to be chaotic and like, he's going to throw a chicken through the background and like, it just, it's how it, it's going to be. And at the end of the day, like, I'm not going to fight that or try and try and change it. Cause it's who I am. And like the live streams are the rawest form of me. 
<sighs> Ryan says, just moved to a Bay Area. What's the Daddy. best resort in Tahoe? Or the Bay Area? Daddy. I love Kirkwood, Daddy. Ryan. Check out Kirkwood. Daddy. Dude. What's up, dude? It's up. Whoa, dude, what's up? We're almost done with this live stream, okay? No. And then we'll hang out. No. And then we gotta drive down to Colorado Springs. Mm -mm. Yeah, we do. And go see Grandpa? Mm -mm. Yeah, we gotta see Grandpa. You gotta go potty? Mm -mm. You gotta go potty? Mm -mm. Okay. Bye. Bye, Roman. PH14 says, wife and I are looking to move from Denver to Summit County, work for Epic Mountain Express. So hoping there's uh, open, hoping there's an open in the office uh, there by summer. Dude, Phil, dude, I hope you can make that happen, man. It's, it's, it's so sick moving to Summit. It's very hard, but I, I really hope you do it, man. Keep me posted if you do, because I want to say congrats. Sawyer so says, it's cool because the instructor that taught me when I first started now we go and shred sometimes. Sawyer, that's actually really sick to hear that you still shred with the uh, um, the guy that taught you how to snowboard. A big reason why I do what I do and why I'm here is the person that taught me how to snowboard was a huge influence in my life. And like when I was growing up, I was like, dude, I want to be like James. Like James is the dude. Like he, he, I literally was like, I'm going to grow up, be a snowboarder like James. Like that's as a kid, that was my mindset. Um, and despite not like truly thinking it, I ended up doing it, like literally pursuing becoming a snowboarder and it happened. C. Miller says, I got a two-year-old girl and a four-year-old boy, can't beat it. Dude, that's so awesome, C. Miller. Do they ski or snowboard? Uh, Crazy says, I'm exited to go to Copper and Loveland. Let's go, dude. Uh, Drew, dude. Uh, Congrats on just wrapping up school. And then Austin, dude, I'm doing great, man. Let me see if I got any other questions to answer really quick. The board is like a boat. Do you, does that mean the design or the graphic of the board? Yeah, Tudicus, that's what it means. So the board's not like a, literally a boat, like a big heavy snowboard. It's like the design's a boat. That's all I'm giving you. Do you know the Muffin Man? I, spicy, dude. How do you not know the Muffin Man? And Roman is the best. All right, guys. I'm going to end the live stream here because I got to get everything packed up. We got to go to Car Springs for the weekend. Thank you so much for uh, jumping on the live stream. So many cool things are going to happen and be released. Uh, once again, like a lot of new merch is coming out, which is cool if you want to support. Like the Evolution pin are available. All the new colors and Evolution stickers. And there's a this is going to be a hint but throughout the season, I'm going to be dropping a lot of cool evolution stickers with different designs. And the camel one is a great example of that. And there'll be limited quantities and things like that. So be ready for that. Um, just know when you do snag anything, you support the dream. Do you bring me your snowboard boot? Um, I have a crazy weekend ahead of me. So daily videos are still going to come. But they're, uh, we're not going to hit the 200-day season. I guess that's the best way to say it. Uh, we're not going to be pursuing and, and trying to shred as much because like the resorts are about to open and everything. But with that, guys, as always, you want to say see you tomorrow? With that, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep evolving, and we'll see you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you later, suckers. Okay. Can you say? Can you say see you, suckers? No. All right. I'll see you, suckers.